of the women's pole vault, which will get underway in a few minutes' time. As I mentioned, 10th to vault in the rotation, although highly unlikely that she'll be coming in at the opening height, will be Ekaterina Stefanidi. But, uh, also starting proceedings in this event as well is another pole. That's Camilla Prishbila. She was seventh back in the World Youth Championships back in 2013. Yara Hadlichuk from Ukraine. She's very much a new face on the international scene. This is her international debut. Spain's Miren Bartolme. Just 19 years of age, she'll be eligible to go to the world under, I should say, European under 20 championships coming up next month in Grosseto in Italy. Sonia Malavisi from Italy. Well known international competitor. Here we have Sally Peak from Great Britain, 2014 Commonwealth Games silver medalist. And the Dutch record holder, Fenke Plum. Getting a big cheer from the sizable Dutch contingent here. Romana Malakova, one of the better pole vaulters in this competition. 30 years of age, she's improved to 461 outdoors this year already. And bringing up the rear. Possibly one of the most titled athletes competing here in Lille over the course of this weekend, Ekaterini Stefanidi, 2016 European and Olympic champion. Good change. So back to the pole vault now. The opening height of 3 meters 80 for Jana Hadlichuk from Ukraine. So to say, making her indoor, <laughs> making her international debut. She is in fact the Ukraine indoor champion. Coming in at quite a modest height and no problems there for the 24-year-old Ukrainian. A little bit of a surprise to see her coming in this early. Some coaches take the view that it's best to actually just get a safe vault and the conditions were well, with swirling wind. It's more likely to affect the pole vaulters than, let's say, the hammer throwers or the shot putters. Miren Bartolme, another of the vaulters with more modest credentials, also opting to come in at this height. Well, <laughs> rode her luck a little bit there. I think she might want to adjust her, a little bit of run-up or perhaps the stanchions, but she hit it quite hard, but it stayed on, stayed up, and she gets one of those little O's which signify a successful jump. Probably expect to see Stefanidi in this sort of competition. Well, perhaps coming in at 440, maybe even higher, a little bit higher at 450. There you can see how she raffled it. Good. Showing. So back to the women's pole vault, still in the very early stages at the moment. The bar has moved up to 4 metres 20, and here we can see Sally Peak from Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Just to bring you up to date, we have received some contradictory information, and we'll try and confirm it, that the scoring will go from 12 to 2, but you are seeing on your screens that the scoring goes from 11 to 1. We'll try and confirm the scoring as we go on during the course of the afternoon. Apologies for any confusion there, but Sally Peak, no problems there for her as she glides nicely over 4 metres 20 and carries on. The next height will be 4 metres 40. Meeting, and it was the American, Willie Banks, who got everybody clapping and he was upset at the jeering from some of the crowd in Stockholm. But I've got a feeling you're going to catch me out later on in the programme. Anyway, now back to the live action. Camilla Brisbila, second attempt at 4 metres 20 for the Polish pole vaulter. Nicely over there for Brisbila. 
Was I right, by the way? You were right, indeed. He was actually some drunk fans that started cheering and drunk then the whole fans, yes. stadium joined in. And it really does help the athletes, I think. Kind well, some athletes like it, some don't. I've seen quite a lot of high jumpers, for instance, actually asking the crowd to quiet down. I think it all just depends on the temperament of the particular athlete. I like it because it adds a lot of atmosphere, and particularly in a packed stadium, it's great fun. Certainly. Uh, now, Fenke Plume. Again, second attempt at 4 metres 20 for the Dutch record holder. And no problems for Plume. Well. Silver medalist at the European Junior Championships back in 2013. She hasn't been vaulting that well this year. She's only gone over 426 in a Dutch meeting recently, but does have a best of 455. No problems there, though. So, Ninon Gulin Ramarin. First attempt at 4.35 for the French athlete, and, well, she's actually improved enormously this year to 4 metres 60. Whoa, nice vault there. Well, she turned... 22 a little bit earlier this year, so she'll be eligible to compete in the European Under-23 Championships coming up in Bidgosh next month. Very nice vault indeed there for the uh, French athlete. Fourth in the world, ju European juniors back in 2013. So we saw a little bit of her earlier, Camilla Prisbila. We saw a very good second attempt at 4 metres 20. Now attempting for the first time, 4 metres 35. This indeed would be a personal best for the pole. Just 21 years of age. No. <laughs> yes. Never really got the height there. She was a bronze medalist at the European Junior Championships two years ago. We don't speak pub women's pool board. We go back to that. Yes, Irina Shuk from Belarus. Well, we've seen one Belarus athlete win the women's hammer. Shuk's second attempt at 4 metres 35. Well, stayed up there, but she didn't look terribly happy about it. Nevertheless, it's a, still a good vault for her. She has a best of 4.51 from last year, 4.40 this year. Probably better known under her maiden name of Yakalsevich. It's quite an experienced international competitor. Made the final of last year's European Championships. Now it's Sally Peak, third and final attempt at 4.35. This would equal her season's best, and she's done it. So delight there for Sally Peak. Currently lying in fifth place at the moment, but a couple of athletes haven't come in yet. And I think she's showing here what the British team are trying to do, giving athletes who don't always get to compete internationally the chance to prove themselves in that national vest. And for her to get that season's best, clearly is delighted with that. And let's see whether she can get higher than that. Jananka from Belarus, Hannah Klein, Germany, Anawi, Poland and Koprelska, Ukraine, and the 40-year-old Nuria Fernandez, former European champion at 1500 metres, completes the lineup. 
And they're in the women's pole board, French athlete. Just doesn't quite looks get bit, over that bar. Looks a bit disappointing there for the French woman. So, Gulin Ramarin. But it's only her first fault, so. First failure at 4.45 for the French woman. Uh, just a little bit ragged above the bar. Now Sally Peake, where we saw her clear a season's best of 4.35 just a few minutes ago. Now attempting a personal best of 4.45. No. Not the height. One there for the Frenchman. We from one French, from one French man to a French woman, Ninon Goulin Roman. Well clear at that height. Well, after a rather scrappy first attempt at four meters forty-five, she makes no mistake at four forty-five. That very roughly translates as that's the way to do it. Here we can see here, much more committed effort. Really drives her pole into the box. And manages to ride that pole, gets plenty of height there. Well, Irina Zhuk, second attempt herself at 4 metres 45. Well... Clear, not perhaps quite as commanding as the clearance you saw there from Julien Romarin, but nevertheless progresses to the next height. Tidy vault there rather than spectacular. So the bar will rise. Really died down quite a bit. So, Sally Peak now, attempting a personal best of 4.45. Nope. One more attempt at this height for Peak. That's a bit of a demolition act there, but I'll soon be able to sort that out. And, of course, we can see the four crosses on the left-hand side, which means the Brit will be out. But she's got a season's best, so she'll be pleased with that. Femke Plume also got three fouls. So, clutch attempt here for the Dutch woman. That's her eliminated. Yes, just to reiterate, in the vertical jumps, each competitor only allowed four fouls. In this case, it doesn't really matter. It would go with the conventional rules, but as you saw there from the... 37, so... So, second attempt at 4.55 for Irina Zhuk from... Oh, and that's a personal best as well. Previous best of 4.51, so she's added four centimetres to her personal best. And a little jig there from the Belarus Volta. Very, very nice work indeed. And again, it's very important for those team points. We mentioned earlier the Belarusian hammer thrower doing well to take the main points as the team itself might be one of those that has to watch out for relegation. So Ninon Guilon Romarin. Third attempt at 4.55. So the situation is very clear. If she fails this, she's out of the competition and will have to settle for third place. Shook is over. 
4.55 at the moment. No, that's her, so... But she'll drop down to currently lying in second place. I did say third, but she's currently lying in second place. But Stefanidi, the Olympic champion, is still to come in. She's going to come in at 460. So almost all the other competitors will have been eliminated before Stefanidi comes in. Just on the back there, you could see I Jump Clean, which is part of European Athletics Anti-Doping Education. So, Irina Shuk, after one personal best at 4 metres 55, now attempting a second personal best in this competition. Very fast down the runway. Oh, and she's clear! Oh! Thought for a moment it was going to stay up. Well, Shuk. Well, there's a bit of a confusion there, actually. It looks as though they've given it to her. Well, they have given it to her, even though the bar fell. They obviously were able to see that she hadn't touched it. Let's look at this replay again. This is very interesting. Well, quite clearly, a very fine clearance. Daylight between her and the bar. And when she lands, we just cut away very quickly there, the, the bed bounces onto the stanchion and takes the bar down. Now coming into the competition, first sight of Ekaterini Stefanidi, European and Olympic champion. She had one failure at 4 metres 60. No problem there, though. <laughs> That was very, very easy. I think just a little bit of ring rust at the 460. She'd been sitting out for ooh, the best part of an hour and three quarters. But straight over. Massive clearance that. 460, probably worth 480. Hasn't even taken her tights off yet, has she? And now we've got Ekaterini Stefanidi. Well, she skipped 465. First attempt at 470. Another marvellous clearance there. No tights this time. She's stripped for business. And that was a very, very convincing vault indeed. It's the current world leader as well. And unbeaten so far this season, the Greek. Yes, she's been competing regularly as well. Competed at the Greek Championships last weekend. So she's been flying around Europe. Coach Bo Husband we saw in shot there. The bar's going up to 482. Only one failure at the moment, so she can have a full complement of attempts at this height. So, second attempt at 482 for Stefanidi. No. That really was a little bit of a half hearted attempt. I think she's secured the points. Does have one more solid gap there after just over one lap. Well, third and final attempt of 4 meter 82 for Ekaterini Stefanidi. Uh, first attempt at 482, really, really not that committed and impressive. She's got the competition won. It's really just a demonstration vault now. You can see there on the left-hand side of your screen the accumulated failures. Well, slightly better vault, but she still brings the bar down. That brings the competition to an end. Ekaterini Stefanidi winning with that 470 vault. Three failures at 4 meters 82. But 12 points go to Greece. She came here and did what was required. Irina Shuk, personal best, two personal bests indeed. 
at 4.55 and 4.60, followed by Guilon.